What's up, YouTube? All right, we have a brand new, super shiny, never been flown out, just fresh outside of the box, um, Hubson X4 here. And uh, I'm gonna do a mod that I have not seen on YouTube yet, but I did it uh, to one of my uh, previous X4s just before I freaking crashed it and uh, couldn't fly it again, so I had to wait for this one to come in. Uh, but what we're gonna do here is we're gonna remove this underbelly, and you see how you can't see the LEDs right now? Because they're pointing up, which I personally think is kinda dumb, considering that most of the time this thing is flying above your head. Uh, we're gonna invert those LEDs so that they point down, and we're gonna remove um, this bottom piece and leave it off and just tape the battery and if you're using um, a little 808 keychain camera like I am for my video um, this will definitely uh, decrease the weight and I'm actually probably going to pull this 808 out of this plastic housing and just strap it all together and uh, see what happens so uh, I'm going to go ahead and do all that and once I get done I'll show you guys what it looks like Okay, some of you have been taking these apart for a while and others of you haven't. So what I'm going to show you right now is once you've got your three screws out, you've got one screw here, one screw here, one screw there. Once you've got them out, all you got to do is take this like that and just pop it. And pop all four out. Or you can just pop the front two and it comes right out. So there's your bottom piece. Gone. Now we're looking at the uh, control board. So the next step in this mod is getting these little plastic things off. And the easiest way to do it is just twist. And then they come right off. So all you have to do is just twist them. And they should come right off. There we go. I mean, they come off pretty easy. So you don't have to worry about breaking anything. But I've just found that uh, twisting them first really helps get, get them off easier. Okay. So now you've gotten those off. And you will be putting them back on, so don't throw them away. Um, whatever you do, do not unscrew these screws. You want everything to kind of stay, in, stay put, stay where it is. So um, you've got to look at it really close and I really like this tool um, something small like this this is actually from my X mods I don't know if any of you remember X mods but um, I have the X mods toolkit and it works well for everything uh, just get it up underneath and you want to pull the um, this is the motor wire first so just go around and pull the motor wire and just be very delicate you don't want to uh, have to do any unnecessary soldering. And it comes right out. And I start with the motor wire because your LED wire is underneath the motor wire. So once you get that out, the rest is, is pretty easy. So now you can see the, um, the LED wire. So go around your cable there and just bring it out just be careful not to pull because I already ripped I already uh, disconnected one uh, on one of my X4s so all you're doing is just exposing it so you can put one on one side and one on the other and then to pop the LED I use the screwdriver and just kinda wedge it in there you want it to be very delicate again so there you go you popped your LED and just make sure that you don't bend it um, so that uh, you're not messing with any of the connections. And then the next step is really, really easy. All you're doing is you're inverting the LED. So you want to stick it back in like this. And then, it's my wife. <laughs> Get it snug. Get it snug so that it looks just like that. That's what you're looking for. And then, to keep it there, you just want to pull on it 
not too tight, but tight enough, and maybe get it. <laughs> yeah, thank you. I don't want to call anyone. <laughs> so right now I'm trying not to pull on it, but I want to get it back in over here. There we go. Just like that. So it comes back in. And then I'm just kind of putting everything back in there. You gotta love these phones. <laughs> They're always listening. I have the uh, the Samsung Galaxy Note 3, in case you were wondering. Um, but anyway, so that's what you're looking for. You want it to look very, very, very clean and get it back in there. So now I'm just taking this, taking my screwdriver and kind of popping everything back in place like it was before without trying to uh, disconnect it again there we go okay got it in there and then you just tuck in the wire back the motor wire and kind of using it to uh, press the LED wire back in place. Oh, and having nails is is really good for this. I mean, if you want to screw your bottom plate back on, that's that's up to you. But I'm keeping it off. I just want it to be really clean. That's all I'm trying to do. There we go. Alright. There's one. It's as done as it's going to get. So now, that's what you're looking for. You want that LED pointing down. And you don't have to worry about this. It won't be in the way of the uh, props or anything. And then just go around and repeat it for the rest and then uh, once I get done with that I'll go ahead and uh, start her up again and get you uh, get you guys some final footage so here is the finished product got the LEDs facing down this is the front and there's the back and I decided to go with a little bit of extra security. The tape, man, I know it looks kind of tacky and I probably could use uh, black tape, but this is just temporary for, you know, testing purposes. Um, so that's ready to go. And a lot of people have been asking about um, batteries. So I figured I'd throw this in here real quick about batteries. Um, this is the 500 milliamp. A lot of people have been asking questions about these. I got two of these from China. They're pretty cool. Uh, the only thing is, if you're going to keep the standard body on there, this is the bottom. Uh, when you put it in there, let me just get it in here and show you guys. It sticks out quite a bit from the bottom. So, in reference to how this would be on your X4, that's what you're looking at when you're flying. So it, it does protrude, and yes, it does add extra weight, and I cannot get it off the ground with um, this battery and the 808 camera attached to it. It just won't happen. So it's still a good battery, though. I mean, if you're just flying it by, by itself, it does last quite a while, so I really like it, but it's really big. Then I have the 380 that I showed you in a previous video. It is a little bit bigger, I mean a little bit smaller, so you don't have have it protruding that much. And the 350, I mean, they look really close to the same. Not that much difference. The 380 looks like it's a little bit skinnier, but it really isn't. 
So the 380 and the 350, I think they're the same. And then you've got your stock standard uh, 250 or 240. And the main reason I really like this is because you tuck it in there and it really is tucked away. I mean, your flight time is the worst, obviously. Um, but this one actually flies the best with the 808 camera. And I'm still going to try and take this apart and put something together. But for right now, this is what I'm looking at. So I'm just going to be taping this to the bottom like this and then using rubber bands just strap the, um, the 808 camera and this is what you're seeing I mean it looks really good it's pretty uh, it fits I mean it works it worked before but now I really think with um, taking the bottom part off it's gonna look a lot better so let's see what this looks like Turn the control on. I mean, I, I really like the look. And I think that, you know, since this is probably going to be above your head nine times out of ten, this is a really, really good, good fit. And like I said, <laughs> before I crashed my last one, I tested it, and it looks really, really good. So um, I'm going to get this set up, taped up and uh, put up some, uh, some flight footage in one of my darker bedrooms. Okay, so uh, I'm in my master bedroom and it's as dark as it's gonna get. So uh, this is what you're gonna see when you're flying this thing at night. I mean, it's actually really responsive with the loss of weight. Not much, but it works. Okay.